Hello everyone, how's it going? I hope you're doing well and uh, this is another Foxtech tutorial. This time we have the iPad in front of us and we are talking about a Safari on uh, the iPad. Now, the question or the topic for today is how do you link iPhone and iPads Safari? How do you link them? Now, there are it depends on what you really mean by that, but there are a couple of ways how you can go about it. The first one, and this is probably the most favorite one of mine, is simply using handoff. It's a feature which uses Apple's network or is like one of the best things about Apple's ecosystem. And if you want to make sure that you have it enabled, just open up the settings, literally just go to the search and type in handoff like this, AirPlay and handoff, just make sure that this option is selected and toggled on. Make sure you have the green thing in here. So that's how you can turn it on. You need to also make sure that you have it enabled on your iPhone, but yeah, that's the same process. And the thing about it is that you can see right now that I'm on the home screen. I have all my apps in here. The Safari is using or is open up on this page. Everything is normal. Everything is normal. I have my iPad in here. And if I open up the Safari, watch what happens here inside of my dock. I open up the Safari. You can see that this has been added there. So I just open up google.com. And if I tap on that, which is the handoff button, you can see the tiny iPhone logo there or the icon if i tap on that it gets me to the very same website so it doesn't matter what i browse or what i do this is how i can effectively link my devices because i can always just start something on my iphone and continue on my ipad or the other way around or even with other devices like with the mac so that's really simple to do just make sure you have handoff enabled and you can always just continue on the website which you have started browsing on the other device so for me this is really useful by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. But this is not the only method because this only lets you browse the websites which you have started on the other device. In case you want to sync the bookmarks and other data, you can also do it through the iCloud synchronization. Keep in mind that you have to be logged in with the same Apple ID on both devices, but this is kind of obvious. Anyways, you have to make sure that you go to the settings and just get to the main section and at the top you can see your name, which is basically your personal section for iCloud and Apple ID. So tap on that. You can see we have iCloud option and you can browse here the state of your iCloud, like how much storage you have left and stuff. But here are also apps using iCloud. You have photos, for example, here, the drive mail, but I want you to click on show all button. Click on that. You can see Safari is one of them and you just need to make sure that you have the green check turn on. This is exactly how you make sure that the data is synced between iPad Safari and your iPhone Safari. Because on your iPhone, you have to do the same thing. Just go to the iCloud, show all, and you need to make sure that Safari is turned on as well. And you can also not have it turned on. I mean, I have it by default, but perhaps this is not the case for you. So you just have to make sure that it is turned on for yourself. And that's how you end up with the same data, the same bookmarks on your iPad and on your iPhone at the same time. So that's about it. That's everything what I wanted to explain to you. I hope I did a good job. If you understand, leave a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with your iPad and know everything you should know about it, make sure to subscribe down below to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. You definitely don't want to miss the next videos. It's going to be really useful for you. So make sure to stick around and I can see you in the future. Peace out until then.